So first things first, let's go into the VB slots that we created. Basically the slots and stuff. So we have to go um, go on the functions. There should be override. Just find on mouse button down. Just click on it from the mouse event. Detect. A uh, drag if pressed. Just connect all the pins basically. And search for the left mouse button. I think that's the left one. So left mouse button right there. That's that's the first function. And the last one is on drag detect. Right here. Just create I think it's like create drag and drop operation. Bam. We're gonna get this weird ass list. It's it's quite simple to understand. I just put all so basically the class is drag drop operation. We don't need a tag payload payload and default drag visual. It's basically self that that's basically it. So you just connect the pins and can compile and save it. So that's basically done. We can compile and save it. Now we're gonna make a new interface, user interface, widget blueprint, user inter widget, uh, widget blueprint, fuck, uh, widget blueprint, uh, drop slot. <coughs> so this is for dropping. So when we gonna drop items or whatever, you know, uh, canvas, canvas panel. <coughs> That's basically it. You, you don't really need anything else. Uh, go to graph now. There should be function override on drop. Get payload. Payload is basically uh, this thing. It's, uh, this operation, I think. Yeah, this one. I think so. I don't know. So you're gonna cast to so in. So slot, there should be a slot, the slots basically, basically uh, this one where your slots are, you're gonna cast, now we're gonna get held item, get it, but now we actually need the draw, uh, draw function, if that way, so actually make the draw function, we have to go to AC inventory, we have to make a new function, call it drop item. Now this will be kind of hard to understand probably, but I will try my best to explain. So item to drop. This will be, as you can guess, a BP item master, because that's the item we're gonna drop, and it's the purple one. We're just gonna spawn actor for class. That's basically it. Right? Because the spawn actor is basically what it says, it's gonna spawn the actor. And you you may be thinking, oh, that's basically it, right? No, there's an error. So we're gonna get owner. Uh, get location. Get actor location. Get actor rotation. So we need get forward vector from the actor rotation then we're just gonna times or multiply <laughs> did I say times so we're gonna multiply by your float we're just gonna create a variable camera distance and it's gonna be a float so point number so camera distance let's do a for now let's do 1000 I am not sure how much you should need. Let's do let's do a thousand. We're gonna test it out later. This uh, actor location will be plus. So we plus with that. And then we do a plus again. But for now we're gonna split the structure right? and then we get these floats. So we're gonna use the X and Y because the Z is basically up or down. So we're gonna do random float 
in range. The minimum will be seven minus 75 and the maximum 75. I'll copy paste and paste under. Okay. <coughs> and now, uh, oh my god, it's actually long. Um, now you actually can just plug that in. <laughs> and then uh, you have to find and we will uh, we will see an integer there and from the integer I remove index paste the log the inventory down there and this is basically the item top so I'm gonna actually clean it up so it's more understandable I, I personally don't clean up things but and now we are actually gonna update or F now we're actually gonna get the inventory and update the inventory so we can actually see uh, the sort updating so bam so now that's basically uh, done we can actually make uh, we can actually do it sound effect we can play a 2d sound effect right here if you want to but not right now that's gonna be later I think. Now we can go back to the drop slot and continue. Get um component. So get owning player pawn. Get component by uh, by class. And we are getting the AC inventory. And now we are drop item. The held is going to there. That's going to there. Can make that up here. And we are done. Actually, have I said we can play it? Play, actually, no, don't play it here, but play it right here. Play, uh, play sound. Can do location. You you can do whatever. I'm just gonna put it like that. You can compile it now. We can go to the inventory because the inventory is basically our main, you know, main thing, main widget. Can uh, search for drop. Plug that into the canvas. Make it a, make it big, fat. So it's so, you know. Hopefully it's going to work. We will see. We actually play. So you can actually pick up and stuff. So you can see we are dropping and we cannot drop it. Okay, so I fixed the problem. <laughs> it was kinda kind of a stupid problem. So if you go to the drop sort, yeah, the code is actually fine. Uh so we did it correctly, except one detail. I forgot that canvas panels doesn't work. They just, I don't know why. So just drag in an image, anchor it to the full screen right here, set everything to zero, go to the brush, and just make it transparent. What is the alpha? And it should work. Just remember, if you go to inventory, the drop slot should be higher than our inventory aka the folder i'm gonna call it the inventory so. <laughs> so just click on play if you actually play uh pick up for example items uh they do get picked up uh if you drop it you can see they get spawned really really far so to make it uh, so they don't you can go to our Oh gosh, AC inventory, go to camera distance or whatever. It's not camera distance, it's actually um, drop uh, this. Make it not. We just have to play with the settings, it's completely fine. Let's do like 300 maybe. So. So if I. You can see now, now, now they are dropping normally. Go to, uh, so we have some time left. Let's go to our BP item mass. Mm -hmm. Fuck. So in here, you, you just go to construct script and just do a branch. We're gonna create a new variable called 
physics. I don't know. I don't know how you type physics, guys. Just type physics. So we're gonna set simulate physics and then. Well, wow! I typed it right. I did. So just make it through and check that box. And now for static mesh, enable collision. Should be collision enabled, cured physics, blah blah. So that's basically it. Uh, just compile and save it. Hopefully, it's going to work. So compile and save it. Just play now. And if you actually just pick it up, hopefully, now if you drop it, wow, damn. So we have to actually check physics enable because it goes so far. Uh, just enable that. Um, yeah, I forgot something. So now, if you actually pick up and drop it, you can see they are actually colliding. So that's actually good. <clears throat> of course, you can uh, make it so they rotate. You know, do do whatever you like. But I think for today, uh, we we did everything that we needed.